Hello and welcome to Adele. <laughs> In this video I'm gonna take you along the developments that we have made the last uh, couple of months, um, if not a year. <laughs> Time flies when you're having fun and when you're working hard. Um, and we've gotten so much support uh, from people funding us and from volunteers and locals so we just want to share with you the progress that we have made so far there we go Our tuitions are very diverse, giving children a wide scope of experiences and activities. When volunteers come, they also share their knowledge and skills. We feel that active participation, fun and learning by doing are important to complement their normal schooling. We help them in subjects like math and English, but also we help them to explore new things like painting, cooking, yoga and music.
A safe electricity system has been made, chasing the big stone walls. It was quite some work for the electrician, but it looks beautiful now. The two original chimneys had to be rebuilt on the steep roof, so that we can make a heating system in near future. We are planning on installing a wood stove. Firewood can be organized from our upper terraces, where we will plant a forest. Plastic bottles were reused to grow our first vegetables and herbs. We share the land with the Nepalese family living at Adara, who know a lot about farming. We only use natural remedies if needed. And then our first volunteer Mary came from South Africa. She has helped us a lot with starting up some things in the garden and teaching us about permaculture. There are monkeys in this neighborhood and they love to eat our <laughs> vegetables that we also love. So we are figuring out which ones need to grow in greenhouses and then we will build greenhouses for certain crops. Much of the work this summer has been done by our carpenter Harish Baiji. Some of the wood we bought is reclaimed and other is new. We love to keep supporting the local craftsmanship that is at hand so that it can sustain the families. In the dining hall we made a new floor. Um, because the old one was old <laughs> and uh, we will also make one in the living room later. The bathroom house needed a new roof so the old one was taken off. Second-hand slates were selected and transported from a nearby village. With mud, the slates were stuck on the roof. This is a local traditional method. If the slates are placed in the right way, then it will be waterproof. with ups and downs we also have our downs and uh, this rainy season uh, with our new roof uh, it turned out that the roof was not that waterproof so it's still leaking so we will have to deal with that yeah <laughs> Then it was time to plaster the bathroom house. This is done with cob. It is a mixture of cow dung, fine soil and water. It is a natural and also, again, local way to plaster walls. And is very common here, but not anymore that much used, since many people use cement.
was also time to make the indoor walls fresh and sparkling again. We had volunteers helping us out from South Africa, Germany, Austria, US, India and Bolivia. We also made a big mural for the dining hall. So that's what we did so far. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, for now we are exploring new ways of getting funds both internationally as locally here in India. We see quite some funding opportunities uh, which we will follow up and um, the money will mainly now go to um, our programs like farming and our tuitions and um, having the volunteers here but also uh, mainly the renovation is still a priority for now because as you can see here also <laughs> there's still some work to do um, and uh, we will also do a uh, start with the water tank because uh, we need a big uh, unit where all the water can be stored uh, which can then be connected to our bathroom so a running water system uh, is very important for us now and sounds like a very good idea um, to follow up. Winter is coming soon, uh, volunteers are also still coming so they can help us with interiors, painting and all these kind of things. Uh, looking forward to it. If you feel touched by our project and you still want to uh, be involved or keep updates then of course you can follow us on social media but we will also now start a mailing um, which gives you regular updates every one or two months uh, we will send you an email with all the developments that we have done um, in that time so if you are interested you can uh, go to our website adarafarmstay.org and uh, subscribe to our mailing list. One more thing is that our GoFundMe page is still active. So if you still feel like giving a little bit of support, then you're very welcome to donate a bit. Um, and that's it for now. Have a good day. All the love, all the care. Bye bye. What? <laughs>